Hello everyone, this is Defense Politics Asia. A quick update on a very surprising news. Uh, there is a missile strike on uh, Delhi Yatin. Uh, well, miss missile strike is not exactly you know something uh, special since the Russians have been launching so many missiles in Ukraine. And it's not even about you know, uh, the location of where it hit. We also, Russians have hit even harder targets like somewhere off Lviv, where all the foreign fight, uh, the foreign legion is. But what is significant is the defense ministry actually announced that they actually used a missile called Kinzhal um, to destroy a large underground warehouse of missile and aviation ammunition. So, what is Kinzhal? You may ask. If you are not aware, the Russians announced a whole set of uh, next generation uh, weapons, uh, super high tech weapons, and this and of them is mainly hypersonic missiles. So they are they have different type of hypersonic missiles from uh, for anti ship, from you no know, ground to ground like ballistic, you no know, nuclear ballistic missiles, the ICBMs. And then they have this, which is the the aero ballistic missile. Basically, means this hypersonic missile is actually launched from an aircraft. So the the code name is KH forty seven M two, and uh, they were used to they they are used for the first time ever in the history. Perhaps this might even be the first time ever that a hypersonic weapon is actually used um, on the target, and um. It must be a huge surprise to the Ukrainians because um, things that are underground, especially you know heavily uh, armored or hidden, shouldn't be able to be easily penetrated. And um, and the Russians use this absolutely modern, like next gen kind of thing. And in this and in today's world, uh, most military in the world actually do not have a hypersonic weapon in use uh they all deploy the united states actually have no hypersonic weapons they are still in development the chinese claim that they have some and then uh the indians uh have brahmos which is uh a hypersonic missile that is actually co-developed with russia and the Ru the russians actually developed their own set probably is going to be better than the indian ones and this is the first ever military you know the actual deployment of such a missile and um this is of huge significance because uh it is very normal for for you no know, military analysts and, or you know, enthusiasts to actually just dismiss anything coming out from russia because russia likes to you know uh overstate or you know exagger exaggerate you know their capabilities in terms of you no know, new weaponries and stuff like Amata tank until now is actually not deployed. It's still under development. Or for example, the Sukhoi 57, they are the Russians uh, equivalent of F-22. Uh, it is also still under development. And um all this makes people doubt you know, the Russians' claims. Then when the Russians claim that they have hypersonic weapons and it's already deployed onto their uh military, uh and it's going to in increase in the numbers, nobody believed them actually. Um, when the Russians say that they have successfully tested the hypersonic uh, uh, ICBMs, you know, intercontinental ballistic missiles, which is meant to uh, deliver nuclear strike, you know, a lot of people is having a lot of doubts. Although the US seems to take it a little serious, uh, that caused them to actually rush their own development of the hypersonic weapons. And what is significant about hypersonic weapons is that you you can't really stop a hypersonic weapon essentially because it's just too fast mark 10 right is 10 times the speed of sound basically it's faster than the speed of a bullet if i'm not wrong so something this fast and with massive ridiculous stupid range 2000 kilometers 2000 kilometers is uh we can go to moscow i believe let's where's moscow Where's Moscow? Yeah. Moscow, right, from the target is not even 2,000 kilometers. That's how ridiculous this the range of this 
air to ground. This is an air to ground missile. Air to ground missile with 2000 kilometers. They can actually just continue go on to here. Which means, should a war between NATO broke out because of this stupid Ukraine war, the Russians could have just launched a hypersonic weapon from the edge of their border at 2000 kilometers. They will hit virtually almost half of NATO, anyone, and there's no hiding from it, from it, essentially. Unless probably you are behind a mountain or something, then I'm not sure if the weapon is smart enough to actually go over the mountain and go down. Um, and this is what is significant about this, because as far as I am concerned, hypersonic weapons are technically a myth. There is nobody ever believe that it is actually militarily ready, or nobody actually you know sure about how destructive it can be, and the Russians basically just kind of like showed off, you know, about that they actually have and actually is able to use it, and I believe the entire of NATO is now freaking out, like for sure the. NATO militaries are now all freaking out because, for example, let's say Putin goes crazy. Uh, for 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 information, I don't think he's crazy. So, let's say he's he really go crazy. If you think invading is crazy, it's not. This this thing has been brewing for eight years, but let's say he's really gone crazy and he he decided to just assassinate uh, a few leaders. Maybe he want to he he just want to destroy off London. A single hit. Uh, they can just launch and kill off multiple leaders at a time, and then the whole of Western world will just go nuts and go and and like like a terrorist act, but it's like cr it's crazy, it's doable and it's conceivable if it goes into an all-out war, because once once NATO fight with Russia, it will be a it will be a nuclear war, Russia. Unconventionally, they were, they are not going to win against NATO because of uh, the technological superiority, you know, in terms of conventional weapons. But that's that's why I don't think Russia will fight conventional. They will actually go uh, nuclear, and with and if this hypersonic weapons for the ICBM version is real, then uh, we you might you might see a case where the nuclear weapons of uh, the NATO. At least the European side will not even ha have a chance to actually launch uh, their, their nuclear deterrence. So um, there's no way to hide. Anti aircraft, surface to air missiles are not going to be able to stop a hypersonic weapon. Uh, this, is, uh, this is just speechless. I, I cannot believe this actually happened. So, um, so anyway, uh, this is just a quick update in terms of this, uh, this missile strike. And then take note that this is actually from the Defense Ministry of Russia. They made it a point to talk about this. So this is definitely a show of force to to warn off NATO not to get involved and to basically tell Ukraine that uh, Russia still have a lot to throw at them. And uh, this is just a quick update and I will see you in the next update.